I'm Ben Waldorf. I'm, uh, I'm one of the urologists with the Department of Urology here at Erlanger. And I have fellowship subspecialty training in minimally invasive surgery and robotic surgery for urologic oncology. BPH is a benign growth of a portion of the prostate gland. It's important to distinguish this from prostate cancer itself. They're two different processes within the same organ. It's extremely common, uh, especially as men age and middle age and on into their 70s and 80s. Uh, and I, I think the key things to know about this are one, it, it's not cancer. Uh, so if you have BPH, you do not have prostate cancer, though they can coexist. Uh, the important thing when it comes to BPH is, is how this affects men symptomatically when it comes to their urination. Uh, having urinary issues, what we call lower urinary tract symptoms related to BPH, uh, difficulty emptying your bladder, a weakening urinary stream, having to go very frequently, it becomes more and more common as men age. Uh, it's something that I think a lot of men have and don't necessarily talk about, and it's something that you know, should be brought up to your doctor because we have great options for treating this too, be it with medicine or surgery. Treatment for BPH really begins with your behavior. And what I mean by that is anything that makes you urinate more is going to make the symptoms worse. So I, I tell guys, you know, if you're drinking a bunch of coffee at night, you're going to wake up a lot at night and pee. Uh, anything that makes you pee more is going to make this worse. So that's where it starts. But really, it, it, what treatment boils down to two things. It's medicine and surgery or procedures. And uh, you know, we can explore both of those in a visit. And you know, I think just like with prostate cancer, some men are better off with medicine, some men are better off with surgery, and we kind of have to go along that path and see what works.